I have a preference for celebrities as the main subject of my art. To a certain extent, my choices reflect my taste in film. I have loved movies and the gossip about the actors since my childhood. In my undergrad years, I would often spend an entire day sitting in a video shop where I watched movie after movie in the company of cigarettes. Sometimes I'd go to the theater and watch a double feature. The history of the Germanic people, the Holocaust, the two world wars and the influential figures in those times fascinated me and the keen interest in history has naturally come to occupy a part of my artistic realm. The images that I use are cliché and have lost their sensational flavor and have nothing to which we can get emotionally involved. Marilyn Monroe is the perfect example. It may seem like I choose my subject too easily, but the choice entails risk and I find exhilaration in what is risky. The paintings are extremely demanding and people often ask me if I use stamps or any mechanical methods in my paintings. I understand why they see it that way, because it seems like there is a pattern of repetitive images. However, I'm using the same methods the old masters used in old times, painting every element individually by hand. I begin by laying a grid on my canvas, and then I proceed to paint each image from a small reference photo I pin near my canvas in the studio. I have to paint the same images over and over again, thousands of them, to create one painting. Over the years, I have had many honors for my work, and in May, one of my paintings featuring Queen Elizabeth will be exhibited at the National Portrait Gallery in London on behalf of the 60th anniversary of Queen Elizabeth's being enthroned. There, my work will be exhibited alongside two other famous painters, Andy Warhol and Lucian Freud. My work will also be exhibited during the London Olympics. My first exhibition in the United States at Hastert Kreitler Gallery in New York will be on view until March 24, 2012.